It's been a while since I did any update on the machine. A few months ago I decided it was time to finish the enclosure part, which I should already done one year ago. The top part of the enclosure is made out of 2mm stainless steel, which is all bolted together and bolted to the bottom part of the enclosure. So if I ever need to do any maintenance, I can remove panels for easy access. In the enclosure there are two doors on the front and two windows on the sides. The windows are made from 4mm tempered glass with a protective sheet on it. So if for some reason the glass maybe shatters one day, the protective sheet will keep all the pieces together. The two doors in the front slide to the sides. They give more than enough access to the work table. The doors are sliding on desk drawer guides, which works pretty smooth, which also has the function that when it's closed, it's stuck. The machine now is also equipped with flood coolant. It's the first time that I worked with flood coolant on a machine. It's new, it's, it's sticky, but it makes machining super easy because aluminium won't stick to the mill anymore. For the coolant I'm using the Synergy 735, which is a super clear coolant. In the bottom of the enclosure there are two drains on each side, which you cannot see anymore because it's already full with chips. There are two mesh filters inside to let the coolant through but keep most of the chips in the top part of the enclosure where I can just scoop them out. In the bottom there is a drain on both sides to guide the coolant underneath the machine where the coolant tank is. The coolant tank exists on another filter tray. The first one will catch the big chips that manage to escape from the enclosure and from there it will fall on what for now is just a piece of fabric but I need to find some kind of paper filter to filter all those super tiny chips out and from there the water falls in the coolant tank which has this first, first compartment I hope it can act as an oil trap because the water, after the water falls, it needs to dive underneath it. And all the way in the back, there is the it's hard to see, but there's a coolant pump which pumps the water back up. The coolant tank can hold up to 60 liters of coolant. For now, I only have. 40 liters inside which is more than enough so let's turn it on close the doors this small coolant pump I thought it wouldn't be powerful enough but it turns out to be more than enough as you can see the coolant is super clear, you can still see the cutter. So let's see if the water is already returning. You can see it falling the top filter and from there it falls on the piece of fabric and then it just falls back in the coolant tank. I set up a small part, so let's do some cutting. It's a unproven program, so let's hope it all work out fine.
it seems like I didn't tighten down the part good enough so the the piece of stock was moving sideways I used some lower parallels clamped it tighter let's go for take two the first got a little dry Finishing cutting.
and let's see Pretty nice finish with the coolant. I want to try to make more videos in the future about projects I'm working on. So this is it for now. See you guys next time.